Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see behind me, I have an empty dining room. I am switching up my decor. I am looking for something to do to stay busy. It's still a little too cold here in Casper to go outside and do yard work. So I am just switching up my spring and Easter decor, trying to figure out what else I can use, kind of switch it up and get like a fresh new look. So if that sounds good to you, stick around and we're gonna get started. Even though my dining room is a clean slate, my kitchen definitely is not. This is where I put everything. I even grabbed a couple of things off my wall that I'm going to try to use and incorporate to make things look a little bit newer. So let's get started. I have a couple of different options that I would like to use on my table. This is actually like a little rug that we purchased at Hobby Lobby and I love like the little boho look of it and I'm kind of wanting to use it on my table because I have this dark table and I want to brighten it up a little bit. But I think I might also use it with this runner. So let's play and see what I like. This is what I used to have on there, which I absolutely love, but I'm trying to do something a little bit different, maybe a little more boho or farmhouse. Even though this is super cute, I still may go back to it. What I think I am gonna do though is add these placemats. I just added these. I have had these for many, many, many years. In fact, they were like spray painted because they were a lighter color and it's starting to come off, but I kind of like that look. And besides, I'm kind of covering it up anyway. And what I had on here before were these plates from Target, but the lip kind of sits funny on them because that's a funny shape so they don't sit on here right. So unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to use those on my table, but I have these white round plates that sit nicely, and then I'm still going to be able to use these here in the center. So I think that's gonna look really nice. I am liking this so far. I think I'm gonna start working on my buffet right now. That way you can see what I'm doing before I put a centerpiece on here. And I have a few ideas. In fact, one of them is that windmill that I took off my bedroom wall. I can't wait to see how that looks.
Well, I am liking this, but I think it might be a tad too much. I am not sure. Um, let me place my centerpieces. I actually have two different choices. One when no one is sitting at the table and then one when we do have people sitting at the table, you can like have a conversation. It's a little bit lower. So let me show you what those ones look like. So obviously this is the one that I had in front of the mirror on the buffet and it's hard to see through. So this is when we have nobody sitting here. And then let me show you the smaller option. I think it's just festive enough it's not a lot and it does bring in like the galvanized pieces from the buffet and I like the Easter eggs in there too. Before I call it quits, I think I want to remove this rug that's right there and see if that simplifies that and then also the, the old frame that's right there. I think it's just too much so let's see what it looks like without them. I think this is looking better. I'm going to remove the galvanized windmill on the end just to see what that looks like. So I'm really kind of liking that. Just a little more simpler, maybe not quite as many things. And I really am loving the purple flowers with the orange. So let me give you guys a closer look. do it for today's video. Thanks for hanging out with me and redoing my dining room. I had so much fun and I really like the way it turned out. Let me know in the comments section below what your favorite part is and what you would do differently because I am always up for changing things up. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe and you guys go and have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.